Hello everybody and uh, welcome to this JavaScript objects. My name is Amarji. So friends, welcome you all. I'm very much excited to take this journey ahead with all of you. So now our next topic towards the JavaScript learning is JavaScript objects. So as we know it very well that uh, JavaScript is known as called a typical object based programming, not an object oriented programming. So since it is an object based programming, so you can feel some flavors of objects. So as the developer who are from C++ or the Java background, they know it very well about the object is basically having some of the properties like in methods, related properties and uh, some of the functionality will be get attached to this. If you are not from C++ or Java background, no problem. So we can say the objects are basically the blueprints. Okay, so here in objects, we can talk about which are the implementations we need to use it. Now here in JavaScript, we do not have a concept of classes. We talk about only objects here. Okay, so how objects are getting created and used in JavaScript. Let's have a quick look. Now, as we know, like many of the high level languages, JavaScript is also a object base. So it may not have all those object oriented behaviors. But some of those extend what certainly you will find inside this. So as we know it very well, if we talk about a concept name called object. So what is an object actually? Object is something which is known as called a some real time entity. Like anything which you can say like computer, you say about fan, you talk about car, you say about bike, anything which is related to the real time is considered as an entity for me. So here we have a called object. So now this object will certainly have some states and behavior associated. When we talk about a called state, if we take an example of car, so car will have a color about mileage, you talk about the tire pressures and other areas. When we talk about called behaviors, the behavior like an accelerate and other aspects too. Okay, so these are known as called behaviors. In a typical term, states are known as called a data which will be holding it and the behavior will be which will be applying on those particular data. So we say about the objects, especially in Java, we have a variety of ways to create an object, but three most important ways are first, which is known as called using object literals. Okay. Second, which we talk about called using the new keyword, how we use it in a standard C or the Java programming. And the third, which is more special way, which is called using object constructor. We will experience all those features one by one by implementing a one mini application, which can give you the confidence of understanding how these objects are really useful. Friends, JavaScript has enhanced its feature in much more organized way if you use objects. Without objects, you can end up with writing a lot of additional code, which will be very difficult for the users to understand. Objects are a more organized approach which users can always use it for. Okay, so let's implement a very standard way of implementing this JavaScript program. It's time for us to see the demo of how the objects are getting created. Now we're going to create the new file now in the same. So let's go and create a new file name called objects demo dot html. Now here in our objects demo dot html, let me go and create a html tags first. So let's go and create html. And let's start with the body tag. Now here, since the default language is a JavaScript, so I'm starting with my script tag. Now within this script tag, I have to create the first way of object creation that is called using object literal. So we can say create object using object literal. Okay, so let's get started. So first thing we will be displaying a demo by saying document dot write and here let's define the s3 tag and within this s3 tag i'll show message call
object little demo let me close this and this double quotes i'll close it at the end okay perfect now let's go and create the object of student i'm saying var student now to create the object remember one thing there's a very special sign called this curly braces so whenever we encounter this curly braces that means we consider there is an object behind the scene let's say id and here we say uh, one or any value and next property i'm defining is called name colon let's give the name called john and the third property i'm giving is called class class i'm saying eight so now we have three properties of this object name called id name and class next after that i can write document dot write and after this i'll go and start defining the properties by saying student id but to get the value of this i have to say uh, the property associated with your object so my object name is called student and its property is called id so we can say student id equal to and here just say concatenation and here we say student dot id first property associated with the concatenation and uh, once we would like to have another property called student name so with this we can use the break tag br and say student name student name and with this we'll be associating once again a concatenation with plus student dot name now with this last property which is associated with i'll be just copying and pasting it this line and here i'll say student class and uh, this is student class equal to the value which we have to give it here that is called student dot class so now we have total number of three properties are used here so we have called student id name and class let's see the outcome so now we're running this and i can see all three values are printed very simple demo of how the object can be created with the object literal so what we did is we have created a student object with three properties you can have any number of properties no problem but to get this property you have to say object name dot its property name so you can retrieve all the values that's way so this is the first step of how your object literal is getting created the second way of using this as i told you that is known as called using this new keyword so let's get started with the next thing that is called create object using literal now here in order to create the object i just copy this line same and i say object new keyword object new keyword okay and now to create the object we'll be using the new keyword so we are saying var employee equal to new of object so this is the standard way of creating this object by saying new of object and later on whichever the values you want to associate i'm saying employee dot id equal to 101 after that employee dot name equal to whatever name you want to give let's say steve third property we are defining is employee dot salary equal to whatever value you want to give it so total number of three properties we have defined here after that i want to display all those values so i can just once again say the same thing let me copy the same and paste it here and i'm saying rather than student id we can say 
employee id equal to employee id next we have a call employee name let me copy the same so employee dot name and last we have a call employee salary salary so three properties we are displaying it here so it's very simple way where you really do not to define everything into the one line but you can decide which are the properties you want and you can extend it as any point of time there's another way of how the objects are getting constructed let's check there you go there's another way of how this object is getting created but i can see this value is called undefined here we are saying sorry employee dot name here we have to say employee dot salary perfect let's check this out awesome i can see the values have been printed okay so second way of creating this object using object literal let's go and create a third way so called using the using constructor which we say create the javascript object using constructor one of the most popular way where the users are feeling more comfortable of using the traditional way using the constructor okay so i'm taking this and saying using constructor using constructor and here using constructor we can use the same document or write let me have the same using constructor now let's try to add some properties but this time my object name will be scientist but to create the object we'll be using the same way like the way we have used the function way so we say function scientist okay and here we pass three parameters i'm saying id name and the last which is called branch so here you define those number of properties under which you want to construct the object you start this and offer by initializing so how are you going to initialize this with using simple call this dot id equal to id this dot name equal to name this dot uh, the third property which is available called branch equal to branch so three properties are associated id name and branch after that once this constructor is initialized with its value we have to now use the next technique to construct the object so how are you going to construct the object so for this i can just use the first property called scientist so just copy this i'm saying scientist1 equal to new of scientist so this is how we create the object with using new keyword by passing the value called 2010 after that the name of the scientist sheldon and the third property will give you some physics okay so after that let me go back and create the same here giving the name called scientist2 and here we give the value called 3010 user name can be okay and here we can give the value called same or else i can just give the name called id okay any values we can give it here so these two values are ready now finally we have to basically display the value so i'll be just copying the same here so employee dot id rather than that we'll be giving scientist one or scientist two whichever value so here well we have a different properties with me id is same next we have a call name that is also fine so the third which is important called branch branch 
branch. So like this, we are accessing those values. Let's check and identify whether it is correct. Perfect. I can see this object is created. Awesome. Now, in a similar way, I just go back and create one more. So here, I'm just change this to second object called two. Well, already. Let's check. There we go. So I can see all the values are displayed to me as usual the way it was expected in my application. But yes, if you really want to have the better look, I can offer you, you can use a break just to make the look and feel much more better. So this break would really help. Now you can see it looks better. Okay, so we understand how these objects are getting constructed in JavaScript with this using three different ways. First, which we have seen that was using literal, second with using new keyword, and the third with using constructor. Okay, thank you. I hope you've enjoyed the session and love the way how the things have been developed from the scratch. Okay, thank you. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.